Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I'm gonna honestly just cut my hair off. I was gonna shave it, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna use my sheer scissors and cut like low enough. Maybe I'll shave it in a few months, but yeah, I'm gonna cut it. And when I cut it, I'm gonna do it with finger waves for my first time, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. But yeah, I just I just don't like the emotional attachment I have to my hair, you know. This natural hair movement was nice in the beginning, but now it's corrupt of capitalism and like um, hair texture preferences, all that stuff. It just texturism basically, and it's ridiculous. Like my hair, if my hair is like a type four, it has to be ridiculously long past my eyes for it to be pretty, or I have to have big ass voluminous curls, or I have to have a bazillion products when honestly you just need a few. And I don't know. I thought I think natural hair is beautiful, but like. God forbid, one day I get cancer or something, and it's gonna be well, it's gonna be gone. I can't, I can't stop that. It's just gonna be gone, and that's what I want to do. I want to be able to, you know, have a rock a short haircut without feeling like I'm not feminine enough. I want to break both my feminine and masculine side because I know when I come here, people are gonna be rude and I don't give a fuck. It's my decision, and I'm gonna do it. I don't care what anybody says. And yeah, so just watch me cut my hair. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, but it's really dry and tangled. Hey, I, I but this is gonna be a process. Hold on, okay. I'm not gonna let you watch me struggle. I, and y'all was just take one look at it. Um, honestly, this is another reason why. I'll color my hair because it's nice and not not but I definitely have messed it up this year because I flat ironed it. I tried to flat iron it girl, it wasn't even that cute. How are you gonna flat iron your hair in Miami humidity? <laughs> That's a joke. I flat ironed it a few months ago back in like March last in the beginning of this year and I ended up frying my hair because I did not freaking wash some damn tutorials and I ended up having heat damage from like the very first time. And so I basically had to keep cutting it off and I finally did a few months ago but now it's like super uneven and not to mention like I have like I think it's called attraction alopecia on my hairline because of these box braids I did like a few years ago with rubber bands horrible idea because now my eyes are screaming now I don't think it's gonna go back but it's fine mm, I'm okay with that um and then I have like dry itchy scalp dandruff like it's just all hot and I'm not gonna lie I'm too damn depressed for that sh for to be taking care of my hair it is too much too much going on and i know i'm still doing my um fitness journey i'm gonna be doing that or my fitness health lifestyle journey whatever you would call it i'm still doing that i've been slacking because i'm trying to stay alive but i'm getting there we're gonna get those that done i don't know what i'm doing by the way you see this extra gloss here i have like a cut on my upper lip so like don't worry about it Basically, okay. Um, I have clips, so basically, ooh, hold up. Oh, maybe give me angles. Hold up, model. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I'm just gonna end up time lapsing this, to be honest. Don't cringe at me, guys. I know. I hear the dryness. You know something random about the Emmy and Georgia Smith like remix, the pen, ping, black girls. I think it was a beautiful. I think it's a beautiful song. But I'm not gonna lie, the way they advertised it and pushed out the media. When you show Georgia Georgia Smith's verse made it seem like it was Georgia Smith's song. And then when I searched it up and realized it was um, I think her name is Amy. So um I never I, this is my first time um seeing her. So it just really iffy to me because I love Georgia Smith, but I can't lie, she definitely does um pr get privileged have pretty privilege and you know colorism benefit because of her skin color. I my hair on her. I do love I love Georgia. 
like like I think she's beautiful and I love her music. I'm a fan. I know I just think it sucks that they removed ooh, they removed that artist Amaya, I think, and replaced her with Jordan. And I'm not gonna lie, I love Jordan's voice. I think it's beautiful. But like come on, you could have made her um, um her sing the hook. Really isn't that serious, but I really don't want people to hate and start bashing bashing like any in Georgia because when you guys do that, you guys just like you guys just do this for a divide. We just for a divide each other. Does that make any sense? Like I feel like the label is who you guys should be calling out on. Mostly because I'm pretty sure in the beginning when they were singing, I don't think they were they were that's how they were they, that's they were I don't think when they when they did that that was their intentions. But now yeah, it does look like that because the song mostly had brown to dark skin woman even though it's about all shades like it is all, all shades i don't discriminate but in the music video and stuff it was mostly brown to dark skin girl you know replacing her where the smith just kind of like contradicts what the song is about it's the hypocrisy for me but yeah but like bashing each other and stuff online it's just not gonna do well with georgian and because like I think they're both nice people. Maybe. I mean I don't know them to be honest. They seem like nice people. So just like hurting and being mad about it. Um it I think there's a different way a route to do it. I don't even know what I'm talking about to be honest. I don't really damage my hair, but I really don't care. I don't really care. I don't really know here. It's time to go. I know I see people like cut it when it's curly, but girl, my hair is way too damn good for that oh sorry i'm not looking at you guys i mean i don't think it's a big deal i don't think y'all need y'all can't handle my direct eye contact first of all because i'm looking in the mirror i don't really think i really talked about it so much but i'm not gonna lie i do appreciate um me cutting my hair because this is not my first time i did it before i had like texturized hair and back in middle school i think that was like five years ago and I decided to just chop it off with these big ass paper scissors and it was a cute haircut. I liked it and it, felt, it grew back. And I'm not gonna lie, for the most part, I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy this natural hair movement because it really made me learn to appreciate my hair and also know that it is beautiful the way it is. Like I took really, I took pride in doing my hair and I would spend hours in the bathroom dedicated to the twist, braids, Getting these curls to pop, that you got a big tube of equal style of gel. But now it's overwhelming because I just frankly don't have time for that, you know? And it became to this toxic point where if I didn't have curls, like, you know, I didn't. I don't know, it just looked weird to me. But I remember this one time, someone was like, you have 4C hair? And I was like, insulted by that. I'm just like, why am I insulted by somebody else's hair type? That's rude. There's nothing wrong with having 4C hair. Just like, I just get too influenced by what the things the media says about our hair. And I end up believing in it. Like, like really, I was really ashamed and mad at somebody for saying I had 4C hair just because they don't have a curl pattern. That was really toxic. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad I snapped back out of that because that was real and now it just gets hard though because especially in this black community we all have these negative terms about our hair like having good hair um mostly when you have like a super loose hair like maybe type three type two type of hair um have being a bald headed hoe not be headed hoe just stuff like that and you know those things really make influence me like no i don't have that I be here to hear. I don't have this not I have long hair. I could I could have type four hair and good as long as I want to. It's basically like I'm trying to prove a point to not only the black community but these damn Caucasians. I'm just like what am I proving a point to? It's like I don't give a fuck. It's hate like 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 I don't know why. It's like you want it's like you want to prove to somebody that your hair could grow long and be pretty and be and be as kinky as possible but you're not supposed to be doing that for the validation of others you should be doing that for yourself and that's another thing i realized that i've, I've low-key been doing i've been so damn attached to these hairs i don't want to cut it or it's going longer and like i'm like like 
like, girl, things happen. Like, first of all, I do not want anything bad to happen to me, but, you know, like, worst case, worst case scenario, like we said before, you could be really sick or get older and end up having a truck, um, alopecia areata, something like that, and there goes your hair, it's gone. Like, what are you going to do now? You know, I'm trying to be as positive as possible and prove to myself that I am beautiful regardless of how my hair looks. Okay, that's, that's what I'm doing and like I said before, I don't give a crap about what anybody says when I walk out this damn bathroom. This is my choice and I'm doing it and I don't care. And this is for me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm ready to cut it. I'm ready to cut it. If you hear noise, just pretend you don't hear it. <laughs> but it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna do it in like really small section just so that they could kind of be even. I don't want them to be an uneven mess. It's gone, bitch. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Wow. Wow. I'm very annoyed because this phone does is not doing my recordings and I'm like missing most of my footage but you know what? it's okay it's okay um we are going to continue
I'm so happy. Like I'm so happy. Like oh my gosh, I didn't really, I didn't realize how how soft my hair was until I cut it short. Like damn, since my head's a whole pillow. Mm -mm. No wonder you bitches trying to look like me with your black vision. <laughs> Anyways, look, y'all can make fun of me all you want, but baby, trust the process. Trust the process. We're gonna get there. Okay, okay, trust the process, but this is my hair. Like, I really love it. Like, I'm like, I'm really happy right now. I was gonna do finger waves, but it was a fail. I'm gonna have to do that again the next time I wash my hair because I really want to get that done. I want to get that classy finger wave down, but it's okay. Um, sorry, there's noise. Anyways, trust the process because I'm about to beat my face, you know, give it a little look, give it a little. Give you a little something before I leave this video, you know, about before I end this video. Then. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll be right. Damn, I look good as hell. Okay, so I have no idea like how this is gonna come out together because, um, like my phone is out of storage and like I don't have as much footage as I would like because it kept like cutting off. But hopefully, I can scout something. This is the end result, and I'm gonna do finger waves, but that was. That was not working out. That was not working out. So I'm gonna do it again. Um, but yeah, I love this cute little. Like, I actually really like this. Like, I'm really happy. This is great. The face is beat. You know, it's kind of. This is dark too. It's dark and it's kind of cold. So I put this on. And yeah, I mean, that's all. That's it. That's it for, for today, baby. That's my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Toodles.